Hi everybody. No intro. No good lighting. Coffee. My girlfriend's mug. Hi everybody. Welcome to another uh, wing live stream today. Sorry, no wing. I will, like I promise, always do a live stream on Monday if I'm able to. I have 25 minutes before I leave for a gig today. So uh, I want to say thank you for everybody who's joining and watching. Uh, again, if you have any question, I start this one a little early, then uh, then I advertise. So I'm going to wait. If you guys have any question, if you have anything that maybe me or somebody else in the chat can help you with, it's just a pleasure for me to help people. I know it was a really hard debate this week on Facebook if uh, I should or not or if I am professional enough to give advice so <laughs> if anybody uh, who followed I was basically trolled this week so I don't want to fall into negative stuff into negativity but still I wanna I like to help people so I'll do my best even if I know that I don't have all the good answer or maybe as precise as some people want. Uh, I've been around the block for a long time to at least know what I'm doing and help the newbies around here. Uh, it's been my, being the live sound guy has been my job for the last 15 years and I've been pretty much full on on the wing for the last two years, uh, a year and a half, a year and a half now. So. I think I know my way around. Uh, actually, today I just get out uh, get out my iPad to do X32 stuff. It's been a long time since I did X32, but the new gig that I got, uh, yeah, maybe I can explain to you guys. Uh, this is basically a truck that I will be driving around the province of Quebec, and we will offer shows with uh, single performer duos. I'm carrying I'm carrying a stage uh, PA, small PA two monitor and an X32 rack, a uh, couple in-ears also for the people that wanted it. And I will basically do a couple dates around uh, the province with, uh, of course, mask on, COVID rule apply here, especially since uh, I know some of my American friends got uh, the vaccine earlier than us. We're slowly rolling that out here and we're slowly going to come back to regular life if there is such a thing. So. All that to say that I will be out this summer. I will do show. I will try to bring a camera and show you guys uh, around. Uh, today, what we're going to do is filming the publicity, basically, for uh, that tour, kind of tour or service that this uh, van or that company will offer. So you will be able to book the van with an artist. It's a it's an all-in-one package that you get uh, with those guys. So. Maybe I can share a link if some of you are interested. Uh, it's only available for people in Quebec uh, because we cannot cross border as we speak on May 10, 2021. Uh, we're not even allowed to, we're not even allowed to uh, go out in other province here from Quebec. So uh, for sure, that's not gonna move. Sorry, I'm getting a lot of text message for my filming later. <laughs> So, how you guys doing? How was your week? I know my week was really busy. I'm sorry I didn't put out as much video as I wanted to. It's coming. Don't worry, guys. Uh, this week, I will be full on uh, video mode, editing mode. Uh, so, I'm going to go there. This week, I was busy doing the floor in my RV. This is why my hands are so so much cut and everything. And I did, I did flooring. When I do, uh, honestly, if anybody uh, who's watching is a construction worker, I have so much respect for you guys. My body hurt at places that I didn't know it could hurt. I have muscles that never really work. Just doing flooring is hard on your body. Always go, go down, put a plank on, go up, cutting it, and do that like a whole day. It basically took me a week to redo my RV of 115 square feet. So, big respect for all of you guys at Construction Worker. 
<sighs> uh, sorry, we're just catching up with what's happening on YouTube. So yeah, no, no Wayne today, but I, as I promised, I would be there. So what's up with you guys? I know some of you are there even if I start early. Welcome. You can say hi in the chat. If not, I will close it down to a really uh, short stream today. Not that I won't, don't have access to everything, but I gotta leave. So I just like to I just like to keep my promises. Um, what else? Also, yeah, I must point out uh, in the news because I like to share some news. Uh, if you let me get a Facebook page open, the there is a. Uh, newly released version of Wayne Copilot. I don't want to say anything stupid. It's Copilot 1.8.1 that's just released. Uh, it solved the wing offline mode, so probably a, a, a problem there. Uh, honestly, I'm I'm not really a I'm not really a big user of Copilot for now. First, because I don't have an iPad. This is my go for an iPad, well, actually it was mine, but it doesn't hold long enough to do a three hour show anymore, so I have to change it, battery's gone, and I don't see a use for it, honestly, with the wing, well, I see a use for it with the wing, but me personally, um, because the wing is my, is designed in my setup to be my front of house console, uh, if I'm bringing the wing, I don't want to run an iPad, I'm bringing a console because I want to mix on a console, yeah. if I want to go really quick in and out of a place in 20 minute no sound check stuff uh, this is why I run my x32 core with my DL221 uh, 231 no 251 the 231 is what we have uh, at the shop where I work so we have 48 input split I should good to see you man hi we're a bit early maybe some people will come in and I didn't advertise this one on Facebook so it's just you get enough the notification uh, or you are just here if you see that stream uh, not real nothing really fun for those of you who watch it playback I'm sorry not much gonna happen today I'm just respecting my promise so I'm gonna wait a couple more minutes if this is if not a lot of people show up or don't have a lot of question I'm just gonna move on and by saying this I got a really long message here from I think it's Joseph uh, with some alphabet letter that I've never seen before so I'm gonna just say Joseph I hope I pronounced that right he said hi there Guillaume love your stuff with the wing thank you man thank you for watching really appreciate that also on one I've got one question I wrote down a few tips that I want to send to Behringer new feature is uh, where will be the best to send it uh, Joseph honestly uh, probably here and I can probably uh, I can probably post them on uh, or I can probably give them to music drive people I'm I have access to uh, the developer if I really need to so if you have uh, good stuff new feature that you want to have send me an email and I can give them give it over to those guys. Headman, nice to see you, man. Welcome again. But I really appreciate your comment, Joseph. It's really cool that you have a feature. Or you know what? If you want to, and because we have time, and I don't have a console with me, so I cannot really show stuff to people. But maybe, uh, maybe we can uh, discuss those points. And I'm really curious. What what do you have in mind for the wing? Um, yes, Erman, different scenario today. I'm leaving, but you probably missed the beginning of the stream. I'm leaving for a show. Well, not really a show. It's a filming of... Uh, it's, it's basically a live show from a filming that I will do today. So I have to leave in like 15 minutes. My wing, my wing is in my basement because today I'm going to run an X32 rack for the, for the, the stuff. Just rewatch the beginning of the stream. I explained everything that I'm going to do there this summer. Rolf! Good morning, man. Um, actually, have you ever used a parenture processor like the DX, uh, DCX 90, 2496? DCX 2496. 
Let me Google that just for fun, but uh, I don't think so. I'm just curious to see what's that. The 2496 from Behringer. What is it? It's a... It's a multi-speaker seminar, so it's basically a crossover. Um, no, I never really use it, honestly, because most of the time... Most of the time when I go to a show, I'm a guest sound engineer coming with the headliner as, as, or, or opening act or whatever. But I just show up with the band. Um, so I don't play around a lot with crossover. Where I work, we have a PEA that sometimes I tweak the old lake. But uh, never entry level stuff like the DCX2496. But honestly, if you have a wing or a X32, you're probably better off using that because it gives you more option for that. Uh, from Kicho Forest. Return from Logic using the ALT. I tried to follow your vid, but can't figure it uh, Okay. Okay, I will try to explain that a little more. Uh, return from Logic using the ALT. What you need to do is to patch your... You need to patch your channel, alternate input, as the return from Logic. So you need to send stuff one-to-one, -one, not from your main out. You need to send stuff back. Uh, from Logic, each individual track at the same track that you were using them. So let's say uh, your bass drum was in input one, so you recorded AS50 or local input, doesn't matter. You need to send your stuff in the console, so your preamp must be assigned to your channel as your main. You need to take the card out, send that to Logic, and once you recorded something, when you play back, you want the playback from Logic to be sent back to your channel as alternate input one, maybe. Or by default, one and two are your main out. So maybe make it three. And when you switch on the console, it will play back like a virtual sound check your stuff from Logic. And when you re-enable the main input, it will come back to the live preamp. So that way when you record something, what, let's say that you did some monitoring with EQ and stuff like that on the console. When you play back, you're not gonna hear the dry track. You're gonna hear like if the band was playing again through the console, your your stuff. Um, Herman, you have the DEQ 96, uh, 94, 2496. I don't know how to say number anymore. With the Soundcraft, the UI uh, 24R. How is the Soundcraft? Honestly, it was an option uh, when I used to play in a band. We wanted to have that as a... Well, we were looking for a solution for in-ear monitor. Right now, I'm, I'm wearing my 846, by the way. Uh, we were looking at the Soundcraft, but I decided to go with Behringer because I knew it was basically the XR18 was uh, half of an X32. And I said, I like the X32, I'm just gonna go on with that. The uh, DEQ2496 has no EQ, auto EQ mode to get flat speaker. Is there anything like that on a wing? Um, no, because the speaker processing is um, is there for you to adjust. There's no, I think on the DBX it was called the wizard, something like that. But honestly, it never worked. I I did try the DBX wizard EQ, where you just put a reference microphone in front of your rig and you just Try, like let us do his thing it do, it's doing a pink noise and burst and stuff like that but uh, even doing the same thing multiple time I was different I was getting different EQ curve so this is not really the way to do it if you have a reference microphone you can send out a pink noise from the console I'll put send that into your PA and listen back uh, to your 
listen back to your microphone or visually looking at your microphone on the RTA EQ and go that way. Honestly, if you know what you're doing as a PA tech or you try to tune as a PA tech or monitor guy, uh, just looking at the graph, like you need to look at the output RTA line. So if it's on an A, I, I think the wing has a little less low end on this pink noise generator. It's, uh, sorry for you guys, it's gonna be like this. So you have a low end and it just go higher in, in volume as the frequency goes higher or at least mine does. Um, if you look at the curve and you try to match that with the one that you have from your reference mic, uh, you will get close pretty fast. But seriously, I've tuned a couple PA, like with microphone, and you don't need to be, like, you don't need to do like an impulse response capture to make your PA flat. Most PA out of the factory are flat response and they will like, you will co basically what you want to do is correct the room. So you will have a couple peak spot, just correct those, just bring those down a little bit on your EQ. Don't try to, uh, uh, I see people EQ like, I call this, I call it the saw uh, EQ. They take a 31 band EQ and they basically like make every every little wave, every different level. You don't need to do that. You're just playing around with the phase. You're probably better using just a PEQ and cut down some frequencies like major, m majorly problematic one and you will have a way better sounding system than try to, you know, drop 600 and boost 800 and drop 1K and boost 1.5 it's not gonna give you a good result just just go with your ear and but honestly nowadays with pa that was not true 10 years ago but nowadays with pas uh, they all have internal processing from the factory you just need to correct the box changing over time and the room so when I AQ most of the PA now, I just do like maybe one or two uh, really wide, but wide, wide cut, not really wide, just wide cut and turn it down. And a crow just went on my balcony. Sorry, guys. I was surprised. Those things are big. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> um from Joseph uh, yes I'll get in touch with you later via email sure my email is in the description of the video uh, at the moment I'm on my cell phone so that has uh, the tips maybe we can we can make a video call uh, in the studio I work mainly in the studio okay sure I mean I if I have time give me a send me a call on Facebook I'm, I'm easily uh, I, can, I can easily be reached on Facebook so Herman says the the soundcraft is great. Uh, it was a mixer for two years before the wing. Okay, so it's really it's really an upgrade for you the wing because I'm gonna guess feature wise the wing uh, actually the wing is just destroying everything in this price range. So I'm gonna guess versus the soundcraft. If it's anything like the SE compact that I've tried, it's really limited. You got basic tool. You can do a show with it, but it's basic. Sorry guys, cannot mute the burping today. Um, the XR18 is a toy compared to the sound graph. Okay, well I, I don't know, man. The only honestly, the, the experience that I have with the sound graph is the SI compact and. What is it? It's the is it the V four thousand or the SI? I don't remember. I, I used to do monitor in a club where we have a where they have a sound graph. Um. So as you said, I think you can do the same thing as uh, the the speaker effect. Uh, I I well, I don't think there is is an automation.
Um, so my idea is from studio work, but I'm also so, uh, an engineer for the church for a few years, wing the LT-51, DP-48, yeah. How do you integrate the DP-48? I'm curious to ask because uh, I'm thinking about it for a band that I'm touring with. I don't know if it's worth the investment for me, but those guys play wired and I don't know if it's worth the the install time to bring those versus having a cell phone. Let me know. Uh, from Herman, Guillaume, what do you think? Passive or active speaker for typical uh, mid-size venue to 200 to 300 people? Well, what are your options? Because if you're talking about really good active speaker versus bad passive the the choice is obvious if you're talking about an acoustic passive speaker versus really bad active um, i don't know man what is your budget and are you looking for a point source or a line array i personally being a big fan of line array speaker for the reason where you can choose where you're projecting sound with them what i what i mean is because of the opening of the box, um, because of the opening of the box, you can direct where you want the sound to be. So you just need maybe one line array box, even if it's made to be in the line array, you can use a single box and just make it so it produces sound where the head of people is. Uh, I had really good, really, really good experience with that in bad room, uh, concrete, like like big concrete box I'm gonna call it that way uh, auditorium that I have no treatment at all you just I just put one or two speaker aside line array put them really straight and just shooting 15 or 20 degrees of sound from the box like I'm getting here a level of the first row or basically just over the top of the bench of the first row and going up but that way I don't shoot into the ceiling I don't shoot high frequencies into the ceiling and the wall on the side of the venue. I also put the box with a little angle on the inside so I don't shoot the wall. That way I get really good result. Uh, line array is expensive depending on depending on what brand. Uh, I know where I work we have an RCFDL20, really good box. So it depends, yeah it depends on your budget. I mean, I can tell you, yeah, passive boxes, L Acoustics makes really good passive boxes, but they are probably more expensive without the amp of just the RCF, like I said. Um, did I miss something? Because I have to go really soon. Uh, what do you think? Okay, Sacraf is only 725 euro here in Europe can be compared to the wing less channel count but great okay I will definitely take a look at that because I see those getting uh, thrown around here on the used market a lot so I will take a look at that uh, well it's 215 it's my time to go I'm really happy to say I have to leave you guys because I have a show or kind of like it's a filming for a it's a filming, but still, it's been a long time since I've put speakers on stands and mix monitor for two people and in doing interaction with musician. So I'm out. I'm gonna go do that until ne until next week or the next video. Please take care of yourself, guys. Uh, Joseph, you and I will see you. We'll see you later. I can't record a vlog, Herman, because. Uh, maybe if i can get my if i can get my phone i will do it ralph thank you for being here you can always send me an email you know i know you got it it's always a pleasure to get email from you, you have really interesting question always fun to talk with you uh joseph i'm fitting your dp over the as 50 c but looking forward to uh, uh for for you oh yeah i don't know if it's coming i don't have any information on that but uh yeah i know this is something I need to look for okay i'm out of my time uh guys please until the next video take care of yourself leave me a comment below give it a thumbs up and i see you guys
all next week. Take care. Later. Bye-bye.